More, make it taste amazing. That's what we care about. Yep. And low in calories. Exactly. I'm still chewing. Is it recording? Yes. Coach Craig and Allie's still chewing, <laughs> so I'm gonna do the intro. We're here in the Atabolic Kitchen and we're making caramel rice cake sandwiches. Ooh, those sound delish. I've made them about 20 times. I eat them all the time, they're delicious. So that's what we're making. It's in the brand new Power 13 cookbook. So go get that book. Go get it. So prep time is about 10 minutes and the macros 566 calories because you know, we're so specifically exact, like it had to be 566. 566. And there's 43 grams of protein. The other macros, we don't care about them. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. It's in the book though. If you get the book, you get it. Stage one, where do they make the filling? So what you do is you take one scoop of vanilla protein or whatever one you want. And so I'm using my own. Ooh. It's not quite out yet. See, it doesn't have the fancy label on it, but it's done. It's been done for a month. So I've been baking with it all the time. Mine is vanilla. Yours is that marshmallowy thing that you like. Oh, I thought we were out of that one. No, there's actually four tubs. It was in the hiding place. Oh, the well, that makes me happy. So you put this in a bowl. So watch this. I got it. In the bowl. Were you able to do it? Yep. See? Got it. It's so easy, even Allie can do it. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't know how to cook. I'm not sure what it means. Mix in the low calorie maple syrup. That's this one. Okay. I can do that. Look. Oh, oh, I didn't even have the right one. Okay, there we go. See, look how hard that is. Even I can do it and I'm a moron. So I love my sweetener, so I add another sweetener and even though some people think it's gonna kill you, it's not. We're still alive now. Still alive and I've had thousands. Maple extract. Whatever extract you want and mix it. It says it will look dry at first, but it will turn into a thicker consistency. Yeah, so be patient. Keep mixing. Longer than last time. Thicker than last time. That's what she said. Uh, mine's, 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 I'm, I'm a better mixer. Okay? Oh, you're going faster, Dave. Ooh. Oh, that's that, that porn stuff. That food sticky. porny, licky, sticky. Sticky, icky. Yeah. yeah. So we're done. Stage two is the rice cake assembly. Egg whites. Pour them into the bowl. And I picked the circle bowl. My bowl is ginormous. I chose a, jar, a large circle bowl. I cho chose a ginormous Bowl. We just put whatever we have, so bowl. it'll work. Okay, get your cinnamon. Pour the egg whites and cinnamon. And whisk. Oh. Whisk well. And you don't need the cinnamon, but it just adds a little bit extra flavor. I love my cinnamon, so. So take your two rice cakes at a time, four seconds on each side. You got the timer? Uh, Ready? No. All right, I'm gonna. One, you're already past, oh, you've already flipped it. No, I didn't flip it. Oh geez, you're over the time limit. I wanted to do my own time. Okay. So if it's longer, okay. it's gonna make it a bit Where more Where do we softer. put them after? You put it right back on the plate. Okay. Okay. Dip two rice cakes into the egg white mixture for four seconds on each side for the last two rice cakes. You may need to swirl them in an egg white mixture container. I'm gonna break a rule. I'm gonna put three in at once. That's a mistake. Yeah, but I'm living dangerously. Yeah, you're gonna make a mistake. So you kind of have to shake it around at the end because there's not gonna be much egg whites left. So then when you flip it, you have to have enough so that it can cover it. It says caramel rice cakes, but she's got chocolate ones and I have caramel ones and you can use plain ones. You can use the rice cake you want. It's just, we want it to make it super delicious, super yummy. So we're taking the flavored rice cakes. Okay, so now it's time to put the filling on the rice cakes and then cover it up, make a sandwich out of it. Just a quick mass lesson. So we got six rice cakes and they're gonna make how many sandwiches? Th three. Three, right. So how much of this do we need to pour on each of the three rice cakes? Just divide it evenly. Into how many evenlies? Into three. Three, correct. So you take one third of it, put it on rice cake and cover it up. Just make it complicated. So I'm gonna just do all three at the same time just for the heck of it. Oh man, mine is sticky. Mm -hmm. No, no. I did something wrong? Yeah, I think so. You gotta put these oh, in. Oh, jeez, yes, I forgot the friggin' toffee bits. You... Lucky I'm here to help you, babe. 
even though I've never made this before. I know, you think I wouldn't forget. So then you take your little score pieces and you sprinkle them in the center. And FYI, I probably made oh. it at least 10 times without the toffee bits, but the toffee bits made it so much more delicious for the amount of calories it gave that I figured it's just worth it. But you absolutely don't need to use those. I've used or some you like Reese bits. Do need to use it? Oh I've yeah, used Reese bits was Reese's pretty good. Pieces. But I like these more. It's like in the homemade score bars. Just for some reason, this is my like thing, my dessert that I like. And then you put the tops on. Now you have to turn on the burners. <laughs> So we're gonna use two burners because we're making two and then we're gonna heat two. Okay. We always use spray for one second just to save on calories versus putting in a bunch of oil. You know, I've seen the oil, olive oil everywhere and the butter, it's just too many calories. Yeah, it tastes good, but we're trying to make this have less calories than last time. Okay. So that's not heated, the pan is not heated enough. That was three, that's that, three that quarters of a second. That was oh, really? Three, yeah, that's, there, yep. Yeah. Yeah, one, one full second. You don't skimp on the spray. Okay, so we're gonna put this on, let it cook for about four or five minutes, flip it over, and then cook for another two or three minutes or until golden brown, and then we're gonna eat it. Sounds good to me. All right. So who do you think it's going to taste better? Like usual. Do you like caramel or chocolate better for rice cakes? I like caramel and chocolate. Mine are chocolate Equal. caramel. Mine are chocolate caramel. Yours are marshmallow protein. Oh, my rice cakes. The rice cakes, yours are chocolate. Are just Mine chocolate. are caramel. Oh, I you thought have... it was chocolate caramel. So you have chocolate, there's chocolate and caramel? Yeah. Caramel chocolate chip. Well, so I'm right 99.999% of the time. No, it's an see. unfair advantage. I have plain caramel and you have caramel chocolate chips. The question, How is that fair? The question That'd be was, like me adding toffee bits and you having nothing. The question was whose is going to be better? And I said mine. Mine has vanilla peanut it's butter protein made by Coach Greg. Yeah. Yours has some other brand. Yeah. You know, one of those $50 million brands. What chance does that have against Coach Greg? Well, well I, I guess we'll see. Protein. I guess we'll see. We will see. We'll have to have a taste test. Mine's better. A non-biased taste test. Everyone's biased. True. <laughs> so we've got a nice golden brown. Mine took four minutes. I had it on the medium heat and yours is about the same. But on it's a not, little bit lower setting. It's not burned. It looks perfect. It's a cinnamon. It's kind of like goldeny because it's cinnamon. And the, it's the sugar from the rice cakes too. Well, yeah, they're sugary. It like caramelizes the, is that the right term? Mm -hmm. Caramelizes the sugar? So it looks like it's a little bit brown, but it makes it's not. It more caramel than last time. Yeah. As if it's not caramel enough. It looks it's gonna caramel be so rice good. cakes. I am caramel. so hungry. Yeah. What were you eating there? <laughs> Cheese and crackers. <laughs> Day one of a diet, is it? Or two? No, I'm not dieting. Day two of a training. No, nope. yeah. Exactly. Well, this will be day three. This is day three. She's training three days. Two no, but days I haven't in a trained row. today, but so, I'm going to train today. So this will be day three this in will be a day row three. of training. But I'm not dieting. I never said I was dieting. No. Let's not get confused here. Let's not get here. carried away. Let's not get so carried away. I've only eaten pizza 17 times in the last <laughs> 14 days. Hers were done faster than mine. She had chocolate chips. So it's just a good point that you should check what you're cooking. You don't want to burn it. So even if it says four to five minutes, maybe it's three and a half minutes. Maybe it's five and a half yeah, minutes. Yeah, everyone's... Burners, burners are, different, are different. And ovens and preference time for how you want it done. So just check it out and experiment. It's not that complicated. So unfortunately, you circles at home, you can't smell the deliciousness, the aroma <laughs> that's going on in the kitchen right now. It smells amazing. It smells in here. like the fair, like sweet candy donut deliciousness. That's awesome. <laughs> it does. So we're excited, but you have to let it cool down for a couple minutes. Oh, you don't want to bite into that and burn the roof of your mouth. You know how annoying that is, and you got like dead skin in your I'm mouth, gonna, and you're like, oh, I do it all the time. So some people will use a fork to eat this. I've tried it with the fork, and I put the syrup on it. You know how I like the syrup. Overall, I prefer this as like a sandwich, like just literally like on the go sandwich. How do you like it with the fork? It's good because it'll cool down when you cut it into pieces. So let's see how this. Mm. Is this the part where we're supposed to make like moaning, panting noises? Remember, we watched a mukbang. What were we supposed to do? Oh, God. Oh, oh and God. And you're supposed to put your mm. head back. 
Mm. A lot. Mmm. 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 This is good. Mmm. 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 No. Mmm. 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 Try this one. Mine's better, by the way. It's not. Try uh, this one. It's better. Stop eating that one and try this one. You have to get the cameraman to try. Whatever, babe. Mine's better. And not only that, mine has 10 calories less. 10 whole calories. I know it's not a lot, but mine has less calories and it tastes better because macros matter. Not really <laughs> calories, but, but it's protein. It's got more protein and 10 less calories. I don't know, mine are pretty delicious, babe. So when you're buying protein, like protein powder, protein bar, make sure there's a ton of protein in it and the calories aren't too high. So my protein powder, it's only got 120 calories per scoop. That's really good, tons of protein. Oh, and be on the lookout. We also got protein bars on the way. Low calorie, high protein, protein bars, delicious. I can't wait to see if this final round, if the taste is just right, if the macros are right, because every time they make a sample, I taste it and I look at it, I'm like, I need it better. Keep making it better, lowering <laughs> calories, add this, like that. Artificial sweeteners, put more of them in there. We just want it to taste good. We don't care about artificial sweeteners. Apparently not. We do not care. No, we just put more, more, make it taste amazing. That's what we care about yep. and low in calories. Exactly. And then in here, hope you liked the video. Hope you learned, give this a try. Pick up Power 13 Cookbook. Use my discount code, CoachRag15. Subscribe, click the bell button and follow all about Ali. Where one of these years she'll post a video. Yes, one of these years. We promise. promise. Ah, Jinx, you owe me a beer. We've said the same thing at the same time millions of times. Like I snacks, don't think and we so. don't ever use Jinx. That's not our thing. But that one was like really good. <laughs> and until next time, we're out.